Today is a very exciting day. We are officially starting the completion of the exterior of our home. It's officially official. No yes. more green zip sheeting to stare at on the Aww. outside of our home. I like the green. It's me grown too. on me. It's nice. So we are getting the very first pieces of our exterior siding up on the house. It's going to totally transform and change the way our home looks. And we're really excited to see what it looks like up on our walls. I cannot wait to see it in person. We've had tiny little samples of the color and we've seen it online, but to actually have it on our home, it's going to be awesome. It's going to make a big impact. Let's get it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Before Melissa and I get to the very fun part of our day with getting some pieces of our siding up on these walls, we actually have some preventative prep work that we need to get done at the bottom of the wall. You can see that we have this metal flashing. This first piece has already been set up. This is going to serve as just a deterrent for any moisture that may run down to the bottom of our wall. We want to make sure that that moisture doesn't run back toward our zip sheeting and eventually rot it out. So that's going to go up and our siding will eventually go over that. Yeah, it will definitely deter the water. They're going to see it and they're going to be like, no. It's a deterrent. <laughs> Jeremy got this party started without me while I was inside homeschooling. So he got that first piece on just to see how it goes. Looks now great. it does look great. You did a wonderful job. Now we are going to continue to work all the way around the house and we're going to slap this stuff up and I'm in charge of the level. I take my job very seriously. So we didn't actually chalk a line to get all of our flashing set. Reason for that being we did a bunch of math and took the width of our siding into account and figured out that we can pretty much just put it right on the wall to where this V notch in the flashing is lined up with the bottom of our zip. So no chalk line to work off of. We're actually going to use the bottom of the zip as our guideline. We'll get it set up there, screwed in and then move on. All right, 10 minutes, Daddy. That's all I get. 10 minutes for what? All of the dirt beds all the way around. Better make this a hyperlapse, man. <laughs> oh, I don't have my drill. I'm not screwing this in by hand. Let's get the screwdriver. <laughs> Let's try this again. 15 times speed. Hyperlapse. Okay. And then you're going to hold it. You make adjustments when you have to, and then you're going to tell me when you're good. We are halfway done. We're gonna continue with the other half. This is the last tiny section to do, and then we are done with our drip edge and we can move on. All right, dude, we are nice and level. We are meshed up nicely. Good work. Thanks for your help, man. You can go hang out, ride a bike, do whatever you want. Appreciate it. Well, I think you have lost your assistant and you are now stuck with me. Yeah, the boy, uh, he did a good job. Hopefully he learned something. It's nice to get him out here. A little father-son bonding and building time. I like it. Melissa and I are taking this quick break to talk to you about something that's very important and we want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Is there something interfering with your happiness or something in life holding you back? Let's face it, all of us have personal struggles and that's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp is not a crisis line and it's not self-help. It's professional therapy done right, securely online. All you have to do to get started is answer a few questions about yourself and your goals. Then BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The best part is you can start communicating with them within 48 hours. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not be locally available in many areas. And the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. If you need to change your therapist for any reason, it is both free and easy. It's also more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So visit betterhelp.com slash GSL. That's better H-E-L-P. And join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of a licensed professional. BetterHelp.com is offering good, simple living viewers 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash GSL. 
With all of that flashing up on the bottom of our exterior walls, we're going to be moving on with our day and uh, our project. What are we working on next, Mama? We are finally going to get the first of our Everlog siding on, which means we are starting with our corners. Those have to go on first. So inside and outside corners will go up. That's right. And so there's some straps that actually help in getting everything secured to the wall for all of these interior and exterior corners. Mm -hmm. Inter uh, inside and outside corners. I'm getting my verbiage all screwed right. up today. I know, I keep saying it too. <laughs> so we're going to take those straps and we figured out in reading and reviewing the provided directions that we're actually going to have to add some studs into our interior wall because those straps get screwed into, it needs something structural to hold on to basically. And currently we have cavities where these straps are gonna land and get set up on the wall. So we're gonna head back inside. We'll add some two by fours or two by sixes, get those nailed in. Then we'll get our inside and outside corners attached. Outside. Outside, where it's sunny. Yeah. Inside, outside corners. But outside, they don't go inside. Super clear. <laughs> To further illustrate what it is that we're going to be doing next, our corners are going to wrap the corner of each wall and then the inside corners kind of sit flush in there. And every single corner piece has these tabs. The tabs are going to be put into place using two screws. Those screws have to go directly into a stud that is in the structure of our walls. So the way that they land doesn't always land on a stud. So we are going to be adding some additional bracing studs so that every single corner piece has screws going directly into a stud. So Jeremy's gonna go out there and measure about six and a half inches from the inside of the inside corners and then make a little pilot hole and then we will be placing our stud, making sure it's plumb and we can get to work. Jones. I don't care. You can't handle the truth. That's not the right movie. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see the other one. Take that, Tommy Lee Jones. And use it to propose it. No. Also, not a Tommy Lee Jones movie. Let it black. Better, but no. At least I got the right after. It's true. First piece, Everlock siding. Bye, Zip. On our home. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna not, miss you, Zip Tape. I'm not picking this up right now. It's getting real. Between the legs. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky we're friends. <laughs> Getting friendlier and friendlier by the second. Coming up. Oh my god. I don't like being on a ladder you're on. Why? It's OSHA not approved. It's OSHA not approved? Yep, that's the thing. Watch my hammer. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> it's not it's professional. Not professional. <laughs> Before moving on, we have to remove the arachnophobia issue that Jeremy has. There's a big massive spider up at the top of this corner here, and I didn't recognize it or know it was there until... It whispered in his ear. Yeah, my head was up there. Ah. Don't fling it this way. So we have the little gap space above that piece of trim we just put up there. And so because of that, we're about to make our first cut on this Everlog concrete siding. Because it is a concrete product, there are certain things you need to take into account. Number one being the dust when you use your uh, angle grinder to get everything cut. This is a four and a half inch diamond blade. Should make a, for a real nice clean cut. Um, also with all the dust, we're gonna want to mask up. We bought some respirators, but the filters were sold out. So we're gonna end up going with these N95 masks for the time being. And then for the remainder of the dust that is actually on the trim itself, we're going to go ahead and brush that off before putting it up. So we'll see how this first cut goes. Wish us luck. All right, that went well. Real nice uh, cut. We got a fresh blade on there, so it was like a hot knife through butter, with the exception of some of these fibers that were left behind. So we'll shave that off. There's actually a couple angled cuts that I have to make here at the top. So I think this will go smoothly. Works out well. Our very first piece of siding is screwed and up. It's trim, but yeah, the first one's up. We have a few more to go. And uh, because it's an inside corner, it, it's one of the narrower trim pieces. We're gonna move on and do our first outside corner. And those things are real chunky, herky, beefy. They look like, beefy. They look like timber beams, they really do. We'll yeah. show you that here in a second. But uh, we need to figure out how to do that, sort that out and get that one on there. Let's do it. Let's go. That is a massive wood timber right there. That's a big beam. I tell you what, only it's not wood, it's concrete. 
It is concrete. Believe it or not. Yeah. No, I mean, I guess I saw the corners when we went to look at it, but seeing them in our color up against our house is really incredible. They really do look like timbers. I mean, you've got check marks and you've got just divots in the wood and knots and all kinds of stuff. They actually use timbers to make the molds. So each piece is unique and I love it. I'm so excited to get it on. Yeah, that's awesome. Very impressive. I'm so excited to get it on. Manny, no. Uh, uh, stop it. Now my butt's dirty. What do you want? What do you want? A hug? Just a hug. Oh, that's nice, buddy. Thanks, man. Sometimes you just need love. Love of mine, is this your design? Can we not just take our time? Turn the lights on, but leave the lights low. A second chance to take it slow. Jeremy's over there making our third round of adjustments for that top. We've got a bunch of different angles, so our angles change this way, but then also with the angle of the soffit, it just makes it really complicated. So we kind of hold it up, measure, make an adjustment, hold it up, measure, make an adjustment. Just like starting any project with our home build, we have to get the hang of this. So this is going to go a lot faster once we get the hang of it, but we've never worked with this material before. We've never done any kind of a siding on a house before. So everything is new for us. With building a house, it's not like learning one new skill because there's so many parts to it that you're learning a hundred new skills and by the time you master something you're done with that project and it's time to learn a completely different skill so sometimes it's really fun sometimes it's really frustrating but it's always awesome once you get it down so we're going to get back to work and we are going to get this corner to fit okay so round four i swear we're going to get it this time this time we're going to put it up and all those angles are going to be perfect Well, a very long and full afternoon and we really don't have all that much to show for it. So there is, there's a little bit of a learning curve with making all of my cuts. And there's a lot of angles to do with because this corner trim is basically six sided. And with each side, I was having to make little minor detailed adjustments to get everything to fit as tightly as possible. So it worked out after four, four attempts, five, five attempts. Five. So it, it definitely took us a while, like I said, yeah. but um, happy to see it up there. I'm thinking that as, as time goes on and the more of these we do, the better we'll get, the more efficient we'll get with yeah. our, our installation for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Remember framing our first wall and how that went and how yeah. it, took us like, it took us a whole day to frame one small wall and then we had to take it apart because we did the one. Yeah, so, it's like anything else. It's yeah. just new. Yeah, it's just new. We'll get the hang of it. But for ourselves, originally we were going to put up all of the corners today and tomorrow and just have the corners done. Not going to happen. I think... One, I don't think that's going to happen. And also just for morale, we want to see more of a finished product. So I think we're going to try to put up some siding tomorrow. Yeah, this is all worthwhile, mind you. Yeah. Um, we're having our struggles with getting the insulation. In. It might take us a little longer than we originally projected, but this is going to last us forever. And in that time, it's going to look amazing. I, it's I, going to be beautiful. I know we're going to love it. I already love this corner. And it's just a corner. I like the corner too. <laughs> so we'll we'll, uh, we'll power through like we always do. We'll get things done. And, yep. uh, and then we'll enjoy everything, the siding, all the work we've done for the rest of our lives. But for now, let's go enjoy our evening because I am mentally exhausted. I'm burnt.
Jeremy is cutting a sliver off our second piece. We want to make sure as we go up the wall, we stagger the seams. But how about this first piece? I think it looks incredible. I feel like the whole house looks different now that it has this one piece on. Row number one is in, our bottom row. So we got all that set. I end up drilling pilot holes to get our cabinet screws through the siding. It's just a little tough, it's concrete. So it's a little challenging to get the screw flush. Um, I think we're gonna, we'll see. I think we're gonna probably keep doing that. It just seems to be the more efficient way of doing it, even yeah. though it's an extra step. It was still not, faster. Yeah, you're not wrestling around with the screw. Mm -hmm. So we got uh, row number one set, looks really good. It actually looks yeah. really good. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited to move up the wall and uh, start transforming itself. All right. First little stretch is completed. Almost all the way up to the top. We still have gap here, but we need to work our way up and around the slider. So we need to get the left side and right side of the slider meshed up. Yep. If that makes sense. But this right. first little stretch here. Oh, it looks so good. Looks so good. Exceeded my expectations fully. And with the black trim, it just it just works. It's I exactly love it. the look we were going for. Yep. We're very, very excited. We're gonna continue on and try to get at least this front wall here totally complete by the end of the day. Totally complete. And then we will have our first wall done. We have a, one more small piece on that side and then we will start the pieces that go across the top. They're a little bit more complicated because they have to be notched out, but dare I say it, we are getting the hang of this. What do you think? Let's hear it. Is it beautiful? Yeah. Does it look like you thought it would? No. Oh, what do you think it was gonna look like? Weirder. Weirder? So it's a less weird yeah. than you thought it would be? Yeah. Oh good, well, we don't wanna be the weirdos in the neighborhood. For this next piece, we are going to be notching out the bottom so that it fits and hugs over the slider. There is going to be a seam because each of the Everlog pieces are 12 feet. Our wall is not 12 feet, I think it's 15 feet. It's bigger than 12 feet. So we're going to have a seam. We're trying to do as few seams as possible so that you really get that log cabin look. Any seams that you do see and around all of the trim pieces and all of the windows and doors will all be caulked with a nice outdoor caulk that matches this color. Would you look at that? 
Would you look at that? It's a perfect fit. It's glorious. It's indescribably beautiful. This is like attempt number 10 with this, so we're happy. It's like the 4th of July. All right, ready? We have done it. We have conquered the piece above the slider. That was fun. It took us like 10 tries, but we finally got it. <laughs> we got it. So now we have a small strip above the slider, a little triangle to do, and we have completed our first wall. First wall done. It looks amazing. We keep standing back and staring at it in a little bit of disbelief. It just, it's, it looks finished and it looks how we wanted it to look. Yeah. It looks like the computer rendering that we had done two years ago. So it's unreal. It's amazing. It looks so good. Well, that is a good job. Do you want to finish that little corner? Or do you want to call it a day? Call it a day. It's too dark. It's getting really dark. I'm burnt out. Me too. All right. All right. Pick it up small. We'll see you tomorrow, little corner. We meet again, little corner. Let's do this. The reason I write to you, daughter, is words of your well weathered father, is I believe you were a gift to me. You guys find some pumpkins? Yeah. Look at those cute little ones. They're fun colors. We have successfully conquered that tiny little triangle. We are now done with our first wall and we will be moving on to the wall next to it. Our very first step is going to be to install that front corner trim. We will then work from the front corner trim back to the back corner that we just completed. You don't agree. <laughs> Everything hurts. <laughs> Everything hurts and I'm dying. Okay, push the whole top of the important me. We got the big corner in place. We are going to complete this wall. Well, we are going to start on this wall. You know, my dear, you are ever changing. You know, we are waxing and waning. Like the moon. We're becoming. We're making quick progress on this jut out wall. It's nice to be back working on the ground with uh, less complicated cuts. Anyway, so we've got our first two rows on. This third one is going to bump into this hole that you see here in the wall. And this hole is actually for the wiring for an exterior outlet that's going to go up. Um, there's a couple different ways you can go about handling these outlets and these little cutouts when it comes to your siding. What we're going to do is actually just cut out a block. Get that block set in place. We'll redrill this hole so that we can run our wiring through. And then uh, we will cut our siding around that block. Check out that tactical stance, though. <laughs> Got our block in place, and now we're going to continue on up the wall. Would you like some help? All right. Good. Good. Uh, 
let's do one, two, three more boards, and then I want to put some time in on the horses because I think it's supposed to rain. Yeah, sounds good. Ow. We have had many days where we don't get the progress that we had hoped for. But then suddenly we look back and everything looks totally different. This time last year, we were still living in the trailer and we were trying to complete our tiny home in time for winter. There was no garden, no animal shelters, and no house. The list was, and still is, daunting. But we try not to focus on its entirety because so often the urge is to just do nothing when all we can do is something small. We forget that all great things are done, little by little. So we show up every day, no matter how much or how little we can get done. Because we have learned that all those seemingly small tasks will one day amount to more than we could ever imagine.